The Dawnbreaker's Two Sentence Horror Stories, Episode 55. You'll be okay, I mutter to myself repeatedly, as I try to put my child's head back together after accidentally backing up over him. I said my final goodbyes to my daughter, knowing full well the seriousness of my disease. It's such a tragedy that my new organs would have to be harvested from a direct relative. Night after night, I clutched her cold and rigid body as I yearned for respite from my harrowing dreams. Her porcelain eyes locked onto mine before she blinked, her lifeless lips forming a chilling smile. An itsy-bitsy spider climbed up my water spout. The urologist explained that the densely packed layers of eggs and webbing are the reason why I can't pee anymore. I bawled my eyes out in my high school counselor's office, finally explaining all the abuse my mother had put me through. I got quite the interesting phone call today, my mother told me later that day as I came home from school, the chancla in her hand. I love taking long walks with my boyfriend at night. He says such cute and romantic things like, who's there and I think someone's following me. I looked through my dead father's search history, as he probably would have wanted it deleted. For the last six years of his life, the only two searches were a repeating symptoms of Alzheimer's and why do the shadows have eyes? I sat in the waiting room as the agonized screams of my newborn echoed from the operating room. I know it sounds painful, the nurse reassured me, but you do want your child to look like everyone else, right? At first I was so relieved to have survived the plane crash and make it to the deserted island with the other survivors. And then I realized that I was the only woman. My stepdad said that the big tent over the neighbor's house means it's a circus now. He told me to go find the clowns, but I can't find them and I'm getting sleepy. For my final wish, I detailed all my physical flaws and how I wanted them fixed, accounting for every contingency I could think of. The genie snapped his fingers, and suddenly I felt a blinding agony as my bones started snapping and growing. Teeth twisting excruciatingly straight, I collapse to the ground and violently eject liquefied fat and feces from both holes. I was outraged when the undercover cop placed me under arrest for going five miles over the limit. It wasn't until he passed by the police station and turned onto some empty gravel road that I noticed the price tag still stuck to his vest. I've killed my firstborn son with my own hands, I cried to the devil. Why won't you give the wealth that you promised? You haven't completed the deal yet, replied the devil with the biggest grin on his face. Ask your wife. Every male born in my family would die when they reached 18. So I did everything to evade this curse, but never told my daughter about it. Sadly, on her 18th birthday, I found her lifeless body and a note that read, I'm your son, and I can't live like this anymore. According to the news, an asteroid will hit Earth and wipe us off in less than 24 hours. I wonder how millions of people who committed suicide would feel if they knew the asteroid missed. Today they announced that there are only 12,000 spots left in heaven. Millions of terrified parents rush to kill their own children. My roommate kept stealing my salt, so I replaced it with sugar to teach him a lesson. After I hadn't seen him for four days, I broke into his room to find a circle of salt around his messy bed covered in tiny caramelized hoof prints. I was born with the ability to psychically experience the happiest memories of any human by merely touching their skin. I didn't realize this worked with the deceased until the day I felt a rush of joy, along with vivid flashes of somebody's past. 
just as I bit into a burger from that diner on Route 40. She moaned again as she settled on the bed. I drew another ragged breath in anticipation as I wondered what would happen first. The damaged hull giving way to the relentless pressure or running out of air. I screamed in agony as they tore the flesh from my body before slicing me into pieces and dumping me into boiling water. I was reincarnated days later and felt like weeping, as I once again came back as a potato. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that gets progressively more difficult as it continues. The test will begin in 30 seconds, line up at the start. As I got home, my daughter's jolly face greeted me from my front porch. That was the last part of her body that the kidnapper scattered across town. After my latest failed attempt, I awoke in the hospital to the smiling faces of my family and the doctor saying I was lucky to be alive. As the doctor left the room, all smiles faded, and my mother said in her typical dismissive tone, I guess you can't even die right. Today my wife woke up and told me I had the most beautiful eyes. My wife went blind 15 years before I met her. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy my stories, please like and subscribe.